Hello guys, Dr. Hasbullah here. I hope that you already went through our previous video and that you have tried and replicate the result that we were getting before. If you haven't done it yet, please go back to the previous video and make sure you have got the relationship between del and x. So now let's carry on and get our drag force. Alright, now that we know that the boundary layer thickness for turbulent is del equal to 0.378x divided by rex to the power of 1 over 5. And remember, this is for power law that is using u over u infinity that is equal to y over del 1 over 7, right? And if this number is 8 or 9, depending on the Reynolds number, this relationship would be different okay but now we are focusing on n equals 7 which is the power law is to the power of 1 over 7 right and we know that tau is needed in order to get the drag force all right so let's take a look at what is our tau right i think we've got our tau before so this is our tau right so tau is equal to rho u infinity square d over dx 7 over 72 del right and now i'm going to replace this del inside this equation okay so rho u infinity let's take 7 over 72 out d over dx and del is equal to 0.378x divided by rex to the power of 1 over 5. Right. Now, uh, in this term, you have x inside this term. So, we need to disassemble it so that we can get the x. Right. Uh, Okay, I'm, I'm going to take this number out as well. So, this is now rho u infinity square, right? Forgot the square. 7 over 72 times 0 0.378. Okay, d over dx. We have here x divided by. So, rex is u infinity 1 over 5 x 1 over 5 divided by nu so i'm going to take nu up here so 1 over 5 okay and we're going to end up with let's calculate 7 times 0 0.378 divided by 72 this is going to be 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 divided by u infinity 1 over 5 d dx and now x is 1 minus 1 over 5 this is x 4 over 5 okay and we're going to differentiate this now so 4 over 5 i'm going to put it in front 4 over 5 times 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 u infinity 1 over 5 this is going to be x x minus 1 over 5 okay so this is perfect because these terms are going to be Reynolds number okay so if I do 4 divided by 5 times 0 0.03675 this is equal to 0 0.2 sorry 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square divided by R E X to the power of 1 over 5. Okay, there you go. This is the relationship between the wall shear stress and X.
Okay, and we know that if we want to get FD, this is getting simpler and simpler. So FD is just the integration from 0 to L of tau times dx. Okay, but before we go to FD, let's find the local skin friction. Which is CF that is equal to tau divided by half rho u infinity square. So that's going to be 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square divided by 1 over 2. R e x to the power of 1 over 5 rho, rho u infinity square. And this is an easy, we can cancel this out quite easily. Okay, and to bring it up top, so this is going to be CF equal to 0 0.5, sorry, this is going to be CF, so CF is going to be 0 0.5. 0588 divide by Rex to the power of 1 over 5. Okay, and this is the relationship between CF and also X. Okay, so now at any X, you know what is the local skin friction coefficient. Okay, next we can move on to the drag force. This is what we are here for, right? The drag force. Okay, and drag force. Is simply let me write it again for you so FD is summation or integration or from 0 to L this is tau times DX okay so we have the tau term which is 0 0.0294 Rho u infinity square divide by R e x 1 over 5 times dx and integrate everything okay as usual right as usual you have x in this term okay so again we're going to dismantle it and integrate the x all right uh, but and uh, any other parameters than x i'm going to take it out of the integration so this is going to be 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square Integration of 0 to L, this is 1 over, so Rex is U infinity 1 over 5, X 1 over 5, divided by nu. So I'm going to put nu up here, okay, and this is going to be integrated against X, right? And again, I'm going to take whatever that is not X, I'm going to take it out of the integration. Right, so this is 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 divided by u infinity 1 over 5 integration from 0 to L. Now x is minus 1 over 5 dx. Okay, and what do we get when we integrate that? We're going to get, I'm going to write it here. So FD is equal to 0 0.0294 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 u infinity 1 over 5. Now what do we have here? We have x to the power of 4 over 5, right? Divide by 4 times 5. This is from 0 to L. Okay, so 4 and 5, okay, let's deal it here. Okay, so 0 0.0294 times 5 over 4. Now you get 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square nu 1 over 5 divide by u infinity 1 over 5 x 4 over 5 and as usual i'm going to manipulate something 
in order for this to be grouped together and form the Reynolds number equation. And the easiest way to do it is simply multiply both up and down the denominator and denominator with x to the power of 1 over 5 divided by x to the power of 1 over 5. So what I just did is that I'm going to put x here. So this forms a group of Reynolds number, right? Okay. And these two terms becomes x, right? These two terms becomes x. Okay, so finally, we're going to end up with fd equal to 0 0.03675 rho u infinity squared x divided by rex to the power of 1 over 5. Okay, and this is another relationship that you get. Okay, so that's it guys. That is the drag force. Uh, but finally, we have the skin friction coefficient, right? Coefficient. Which is CF is equal to FD divided by half rho U infinity L. Okay, I think I made a mistake here because we need to put in L, right? So we need to put in L inside the X, okay? So everything here is actually L. Okay, this is L, this is L. And this is also L, right? And what happens when we do that, okay, let me erase this, okay? So this is now L, right? And what happens when you divide it by half rho u infinity square L, right? And this is going to be your CF is 2 times 0 0.03675 rho u infinity square L divided by Rex to the power of 1 over 5 rho u infinity square L. Okay, how convenient is that, right? Just cancel these two out. And you're going to end up with 0 0.0735 divided by Rex to the power of 1 over 5. And that is your final equation for CF, right? Let me write this CF here. Okay, and that's it, guys. Uh, for turbulent boundary layer and using the power law, right? By using u over u infinity equal to y over del to the power of 1 over 7, right? And uh, you, you end up with all this relationship, okay? Let's see what we have found, okay? First, we have found that tau is equal this for turbulent, okay? And then, we end up with the boundary layer thickness relationship with x, Okay, once we get that, we can find the CF, right? And once we do CF, you get the FD, that is the drag force. Okay, and finally, you end up with the local skin, uh, sorry, the skin friction coefficient, okay? Okay, so that's basically it for turbulent boundary earlier. And if I have here the flat plate, okay, and this is a very long flat plate, okay, usually lamina is just here, and the rest is just turbulent, okay, so lamina is, so lamina occupies a little bit of portion only, so this is lamina, and this is turbulent, because we have two definition of drag, right? For lamina, we have FD for lamina. And for turbulent, we have FD for turbulent. So which one do you need to use? Is it, do you need to use force for lamina or do you need to use drag force for turbulent or do you need to, or do you need to do both? Okay, now, it depends on the now, it depends and it varies between case to case. Okay, if I call this XT or XC, right? This is the critical Reynolds number. Okay, sorry. This is the critical point 
where the flow transition from lamina to turbulent, right? And this is the L, which is the total length of the flat plate, okay? Now, if L is less than 3 at C, what does this mean? It means that it, it means that when you have a plate, okay, so lamina is here and turbulent is here. Okay, so a significant portion of the flat plate has lamina starting from the leading edge. So this is called leading edge. Okay, so lamina and turbulent. Okay, if a significant portion of the flat plate is lamina, you're going to need to make some adjustment to the skin friction coefficient. Okay, what you can do is you can use CF equal to 0 0.073 REL to the power of minus 1 over 5. This is what we got before. Okay, this equation, right? But you need to subtract the lamina portion. Okay, this has to be subtracted by 1700 REL minus 1. Okay, okay, that's it, right? If the lamina portion is very small, okay, then you don't have to use this. Okay, you don't have to use this. But if you have a lot of lamina flow over the surface, then you're going to need to use this equation. All right, and I think with that, all right, that is all the derivation that you need to know from lamina to turbulent. Okay, of course, there are more derivation if you want to try with the power law of 7, the power law of 8, and the power law of 9. So, my suggestion to you is to repeat again and again this video until you can derive it yourself without looking at this video. Alright, that's very important before you move on to the next step because in fluid mechanics, you actually build on top of what you know. Okay, so what you know is very important. Okay, let's say yesterday you know lamina boundary layer and today you learn about turbulent boundary layer. Okay, and you cannot understand turbulent without understanding the lamina. Right, that's why if you haven't done the previous video, so go to the previous video first. That's the rule. Okay, and for this video, you have to go through it again and again until you can derive it without looking and then you can proceed to the next video. If I do u over u infinity equal to y over del 1 over n, right? And this derivation is using n equal to 7, right? But just for fun, try to do with n equal to 8, okay? And try to do with n equal to 9. Because in the real world, in each application, it's got a different range of Reynolds number. So it's important for you to understand and to try and tackle all the possibilities during the time that you learn this theory. So I think that's all from me in this video. So I, I wish you all the best in the derivation. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.